Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Are you well today? I've just been reading some comments, drinking some tea. If you don't believe me, of course you believe me. You know I'm not going to lie about such a such a vital and important uh, tradition now, actually. We'll call it a tradition. I think it's been that many episodes. We'll call tea drinking on the Famous Fortunes a tradition. Uh, I, I think it's fair to say from my time on YouTube that I haven't seen many YouTubers uh, with a passion for tea. There are a few, but uh, they're usually tea-specific channels. Uh, that is understandable. I'm a big fan of Mayleaf. If you've seen the channel Mayleaf, uh, Don from Mayleaf and his uh, world of teas based in London, I believe. So I'm a big fan. Um, what do I get for giving Don a shout out? Not a lot, but I tell you what, I've, I've gotten a lot from watching Don and I have a good time and uh, some good videos, even the travel videos. Why am I talking about this? I have no idea, but the travel videos overseas to China, you can see the sort of wheeling and dealing and the where the tea comes from and the passion. I think the passion the man has for tea is something out of this world. If I'm ever in London, I'll stop by. I think you can actually go in and have tea there. Uh, being... I mean, actually, I think the weather's been hot lately, so you probably, in the UK, you probably want to have some cooling tea. Let that be known. Today I'm having a Pua. This is a Pua from, I believe, 2006. It is very, it's a, it's a uh, ripened Pua, and it is very warming to drink, so good for winter wintertime. Uh, but in any event, uh, I want to say a special thank you to Nikki and Cheryl, who have uh, shown their appreciation overnight. I'm just seeing in the comments, so very thankful to you two, uh, to you both, to you two, to you two, to you both for your um, your donations. I'm very humbled by it. Thank you, and uh, I graciously accept. Uh, and you can, they, they've said thanks, but I think you can actually put a message in as well. So if you want to put a message in, then perhaps I'll read it uh, if it's not too spicy. <laughs> you know, even if it's spicy, I'll probably read it, but I'll probably read it. On camera, but in any event, in any event, what, what do we have? Uh, some comments. Yeah, what's today's episode going to be about? Well, that was a good question. In fact, I had a question ready to go. Tom Bauer. Are we going to see a sequel to the Tom Bauer book? Is there more material? Is Tom Bauer going to go at it? That's what we're going to look at today. But first, I thought, oh, I'm collecting uh, questions for T and Tarot. So I've been going through them. I have ooh, a dozen questions now, or I have a dozen comments. So there might be more than one question in each comment. So it's getting up there, uh, but it's not too late. T and Tarot towards the end of the week. If you'd like to uh, be a part of T and Tarot, then get in there and leave your question. I will find it and uh, we'll have a good time. And Carolyn's left a comment here. Hi, Lord Famous Fortunes. You said Moki may make an appearance for Tian Tarot yesterday. Oh, please. Love to see the twitchy little nose. Uh, loved guinea pigs since I was a kid. I'm happy. Whatever readings you're willing to share, I, for one, am grateful for the time you give us. Appreciate that. Uh, Jane says, Lord Famous Fortunes, try ayahuasca tea if you want something potent. Okay, I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> We're really opening up the Stargate then. Ooh, your ayahuasca tea episode of Famous Fortunes, opening the Stargate. The problem is, you're dialing up the Stargate, but where are you you going? That's that's the question. You've dialed it up, you've opened the Stargate, but which you know wh what place are you actually now accessing? This is a bit. It's a bit of you spinning the wheel of fortune in, in a way, aren't you? Just sort of taking it willy nilly, I guess. And you don't know, it could be a nice place, it could be, who knows, demons or something, <laughs> horrible place, it could be bad things, you know, who knows. I know people, I've heard people have had very bad experiences on ayahuasca, they're thinking it's going to be a great time and it turns to be a hellish nightmare for them, all sorts of you know, horrible things. But in any event, in any event, I'll stick with the Pua today, uh, let that be known, and um, <laughs> let that be known, let that be known, I will... Uh, I will stick with the Pua tea. And uh, in, interestingly, in Eastern, um, let's say, medicine, uh, Eastern philosophy, Eastern Taoism, all of this type of thing, they don't touch plants that are hallucinogenic in nature. They leave them alone. Th those plants are considered toxic. Even uh, 
marijuana is considered toxic. It is a toxic plant. THC is considered toxic in Eastern thought. It's a toxic component of the plant. Uh, so, and all that type of thing. So it is interesting that some, you know, some native cultures sort of got into it, but other sort of traditional systems of thought and medicine, they left those things alone. Uh, and the most revered plant, if you like, or herbal medicine in Eastern thought, and I'm referring specifically to traditional Chinese medicine now, the most revered plant is reishi mushroom. And it's for its spiritual benefit, primarily. But it's not hallucinogenic. It's not, you know, stargate worthy. It's not any of those things. It's much more subtle and sublime uh, an experience uh, than that. But it, it, it is easily available, readily available. You could try. You could try and you know, feel the power, work with it, take it for a few months and see how you feel. Uh, but in any event, that is because the, the, this reishi mushroom enters the heart directly. So in any event, in any event, brings light to the heart, all that type of thing. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Tom Bauer. Will there be a sequel? Will there be a sequel? Cheers. Can't wait. Let's find out. This is actually a question that's come up more than once overnight. A few people are interested in this, uh, and so am I. So let's uh, let's get into it. Your wish is my command, as the as the the genie say. So uh, let's. Let's, let's let's get into it. Will there be a Tom Bauer sequel? Will there be Tom Bauer round two, part two? What was the first? Was it called Revenge? I'm just wondering. Was it Revenge? Revenge. Well, what can you call the second one? What would be a good name for the second one? Uh, uh, uh Markled? Markled? Maybe that could be a good name for it. Markled. I think that would be a good one. Uh, there could be quite a few good names, I'm sure. Oh, a few good names. Beelzebub. <laughs> I jest. We've seen the devil too many times. We've seen it too many times on Famous Fortunes. Uh, not good. <laughs> not good. Tom Bauer. We're going to see a sequel. We well, should get him on the phone. Tom, let's do an interview. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups. Uh, next card, Nine of Cups. Eight and Nine of Cups. And a Ten of Cups. Cups, Cups, Cups. Finally, the star. Underlying energy here. The Five of Coins. The Five of Coins. That's an interesting card. Now, Tom Bauer. Are we going to see a sequel? Well, first card's interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. It's sort of... What can it? What's it telling us? It, it's not a no. It's not a yes. It, it's sort of. I, I think he'd be open to the idea. I think there's a certain level of openness here that that Tom Bauer would have. It's kind of, you know, let's just see how things go type of attitude. Uh, you know, it could be open to it. Could not. You know, let's see how things develop. Uh, I think that there's. It, you know, with that said, that, that that's a more sort of positive card, as is the star. The star's another sort of positive card for this. The nine of uh, cups as well, the ten of cups. I think they're all quite positive that we may see another, uh, th th or there may be some intention there to have another book. Uh, we're going to ask what sort of, is there enough material to cover another book? I think there's a lot of good energy around another book. There is a cute few things here, a little bit concerning the eight of cups, I would say that he may pull out in, in the five of cup, uh, coins here is the underlying energy. I mean, it could be a health issue. It could be sort of, oh, no, he doesn't have the stamina or I don't know the man. I don't know what his situation is, but maybe there might be some health issues or something like that that might prevent him from doing it or he might walk away due to some health issues. Maybe I'm reading it in too deeply. Maybe I shouldn't be reading it in this deeply. Maybe I shouldn't be saying it, but that's probably, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, ill health, that type of thing. Uh, could prevent him from this. But there is a, quite a good energy here on the cards for it. It would be quite successful. I think people would be very happy with... He'd be very happy with it, certainly. Uh, he'd be very happy with himself, I think, probably more accurately. Uh, but, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, it's not... Uh, it could go either way at this point. That's, I think, my the larger point I'll make here. It could go either way. It could happen. It could not happen. I know that's... 
you know, you're probably sort of going, well, I want a yes or no answer. Well, life doesn't work that way. I mean, is there going to be a Famous Fortunes episode tomorrow? I mean, it could be good to have one, but there might not be. And who knows? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those things you kind of, you have to live to enjoy the moment in life. Uh, not to say you shouldn't plan or that type of thing, but I think sometimes people, uh, you got to find a balance. I think you got to be comfortable with where you're at. I think that's, you know, it's, it's certainly, a, certainly a good thing. So interesting energies. I, I find these energies interesting. Um, I think they are interesting in and of themselves. Uh, maybe they're saying more about the author here than the material, but in any event, let's find out about what type of material there is. Are there, is there enough material here? Let's find out. Let's actually find that out. Is there enough material? Loom, here's a comment, Loom, Luminaya, Luminaya, Luminaya. No, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I'm constantly amazed at you and other readers that I can't quite remember. You guys are remarkably insightful. Uh, I told another reader that I don't believe tarot, but what I think is happening is the cards are triggering something deep in your subconscious that makes you think deeply and intuitively on a subject. I am blown away and impressed as hell. Uh, if you love your readings and, of course, that wild sense of humor that is just delightful. Thank you so much. I just love your channel. I thought I'd read that one. That was a nice one. All right. So uh, is there material for a second reading? Let's find out. Now, in, okay. Probably some people out there wanted me to comment on this comment, maybe in terms of the mechanism of the tarot. Do I think the cards are triggering something in the subconscious? I think that can happen, but I don't... Funnily enough, I don't think that, that that's what's happening. That's not my personal take on it. Uh, um, have I spoken about what I think is happening with the tarot. I think when we get to 10,000 subscribers, I think I'll have more to say on this topic. Okay. I'll have more to say. Uh, I, I, I just think that, uh, I would just in my humble experience, shy away from the idea that it's triggering ideas in the subconscious. But what I would say is that I think that there is a, 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 a mechanism present in the universe and it's on quite a deep level, but I have to share that probably another time. Cards are hot. Material for Bow Part 2, Ten of Cups. There's more material about the family, folks. There's more family. There's more family goss from Mr. Bauer. That's still to come. King of Cups. So there's a man here. We've seen a lot of men. So we've seen a King of Cups, a King of Wands, and an Emperor. So there's more goss about men. Does that surprise anyone in the audience that we have more goss about men from Meghan Markle? I don't think so. Uh, four of Cups. Okay, well, I'm not sure. Let's have some more cards. We can sort of see here. Nine of... Uh, nine of coins, the sun, underlying energy, page of swords. Um, there has, there's more to say. There really is. There's more to say. Uh, there's more to, there's more to say about the family, about this. There's a man here, uh, about the, the wealth that Megan has, about something about her money or her, Something on those lines. Something's going to come to light. There's other things that could come to light. So, you know, skeletons out of the closet, that type of thing. Um, four of Cups here. There's things that were disappointing that could come to light. Disappointments. No, I haven't. Again, I haven't read the book. So, um, I'm not sure if there were things that were disappointing that were discussed in the book, but... From what I can tell you here with the Four of Cups, yeah, there's going to be disappointments there. Disappointments, maybe even related to oh, related to kids, maybe, but I think there's just more to be written. There's more to be written. Tom Bauer has more to write. That's what I can see. Uh, California Harry, people are commenting here. California, California Harry. We've got Windsor Harry and California Harry. Oh, man. Puff the Magic Dragon, I guess. So, not YouTube voice. But in any event, in any event, there's more. There's more goss. There's more goss. It's family goss. It's money goss. It's there's a guy here. There's a guy, a lover even, a lover. I wonder if this was the first husband. Even could be, could be. I, I mean, when I say first husband, I'm referring to. I think his name's Trevor. 
So I know many of you are going to sort of balk in the comments saying that's the second husband or something, third husband, fifth husband, I don't know, who knows? I'm not, I'm not the historian. I'm just a humble tarot reader. So let that be known. There's a man there. People say, you should know which husband it was. I don't know which husband it was. How am I to know? I barely know. I think I saw a photo of his face for a thumbnail once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm not friends with the guy, he probably doesn't want anything to do with it, he's probably such bad reputation now, people are running, just like, running like a, like a dead body at a, at a Hindu, uh, you know, cremation type of thing, if you've ever been to one, you know what I'm talking about, so, <laughs> let that be known, let that be known, so, uh, more goss, there is, there is more goss, there is more Bauer goss, uh, which I think is good, Will we see another book? Let's just throw some cards. Will we actually see another book here? Will we see an, a second Bower Revenge Part 2, Revenge of the Sith, or whatever it be called this time? Mm. Cards are hot. Will we see another book? Ooh. Ten of Swords, it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid answer right there. Three of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. So, will we actually see another book? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I have to say the answer is a fairly solid no at this point. But that said... The Three of Wands is kind of a biding the time, waiting, maybe people... Be waiting here. I don't know. Is this who's this prince? Is this Prince Harry? I don't know what's going on with him. Is he waiting for another book? People are waiting. They're waiting. They're expecting. They're expecting, but it's not coming. It's not coming. I, I don't see it. I don't think I can sit here and say that I think we're going to see another Tom Bauer book because I don't. I don't think we're going to see another Tom Bauer book. That's uh, pretty much what I feel from that card. It's a pretty straightforward card. The Ten of Swords. It looks like a big fat no. Will Tom Bauer face a lawsuit? No, that's an interesting one. Will he face a lawsuit? Let's find out. Will Tom Bauer face a lawsuit over this? And if we if we hit something here, maybe we can make a larger episode out of this. But, you know, let's find out. Will Tom Bauer face a lawsuit? Cards are hot. King of Swords, mm, that looks like a lawyer to me, uh, Seven of Swords, Temperance, Page of Pentacles, ooh, Conflict, Five of Wands, ooh, Three of Coins. Actually, you know what, there is, there's a very good chance here that there may be some type of legal action or involvement somewhere. Now, it looks that we have conflict on the cards, we have some type of mediation or back and forth between lawyers king of swords seven of swords here sort of tricks you know tricks lawyer you know lawyer tricks and you know trickiness and you know stealing theft all that type of thing uh temperance though temperance it, it might be very very difficult for a legal team to take on this book i think that's the moral of this story here, or well, let's say it's the foundation of this particular spread. I think the the intention is strong, and this has certainly riled people up to the point of wanting to fight it. But I don't think that there's going to be much success in that department if they go down that road. There's not a lot of money in it for them. With the Page of Pentacles and the yeah, Three of Coins, it's going to be very difficult to sue over this one. Very, very difficult, and I don't know their efforts will not be rewarded. I think. So, let that be known. Uh, and what can I say? I, I, think it's, I think it's unlikely. I think it's unlikely any lawsuit would be successful. Uh, so, you know, let that be known. We also, I did mention Tea and Tarot coming up uh, towards the end of the week. So, I've got some good questions. If you haven't got in the comments, jump in there. Uh, jump into the comments. Let it be known what your questions are. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, not a lot. I think that's, I've said all that needed to be said for today. Uh, if you would like to jump in the comments, make any comment you like, go right ahead. You're most welcome. 
to the comment section and I will see you in the comment section.